Right, so um, all I'm requesting for this intro is that you watch the entire video before you make a comment because you might actually not make the comment that you originally wanted to make. Uh, then again, you still might or might make a different one or both. Uh, the reason for that is that this video is split into three parts. The first part is the day before the election or the night, no, no day before the election. Uh, the second one is the day after the election. Uh, and, the th and the third one is actually two m fused together at the same, um, in, into the same segment or section. Uh, basically, why Trump won, and also a question to, the, to him and the people that supported him, which would be the same question that they would ask the Democrats if, if the exact same person but a Democrat won. Who pays for all the shit? Like, 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 how do you plan on coming through with all the shit that you come through, um, 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 that you promised, right? Because uh, he's not just a regular politician, you know? So, a regular politician's like, okay, well, we're not expecting them to actually follow through with this. They just lied just to get in. He's a little bit different, even though, I mean, come on. He obviously lied to get in anyway. So, yeah, just watch the entire video before you make a comment. Thanks. Um, and that's it. Well, it's November 8th, it's 7.08 a.m. as we reach the conclusion of the 2016 Dumbass Games. We'll see which one of these two straight jokers, straight clowns, beat the other one in a few hours and then the real Dumbass Games begin. <laughs> uh, it's all the same shit anyway. We are never going to, we, we, let me say we, this country is never going to be taken seriously by the rest of the world again after this shit. And here it is, I thought, Bush with 9-11, or the treatment of handling of 9-11, and that weapons of mass destruction shit was, was, was going to do it, but this, the fact that either one of these two managed to get this far, <laughs> ah, Christ, man. Well, Trump, whatever happens, I will like to thank you. Thanks to you, all of the, what, black apologetics, all of the self-hating blacks, the Uncle Ruckuses of the world, well, even they can't deny what black people as a whole have been saying ever since they came to this country, like way the hell back when, you know? And thanks to you, whether you realize it or not, well, you let that be known for one and all, much less them. So I'd like to thank you for that. Um, that was most appreciated. I owe you a steak dinner for that. And the thing is that nobody else can deny it either. None of these other groups out here, groups on race, gender, religion, whatever the hell, none of them can deny it either at this point. All other non-white groups have been, have been, they knew it existed, but they wanted to play dumb. Well, they couldn't, they can't anymore. Not, not after you got as far as you did and had the supporters you had. But hey, when it's all over, Hillary might win, very well might. Things will go back to normal, people will go back to playing stupid. And black people will go back to screaming into the wind. While every other group of people will be like, Hey, we dodged a bullet with that one. <laughs> yeah, so Trump, I'd like to thank you for that. I, I also like to thank you for um, being head on with your white supremacy. Because, hey, I like seeing my enemies coming barreling down the line. I don't want them fucking camouflage flanking me from the left, you know? So, that, that, that was also most appreciated. But I mean, seriously, fuck you, fuck you, Trump, fuck you, Hillary. I mean, fuck both of y'all. I don't mean to go off into profanities, but I mean, yeah, whatever. Y'all are a bunch of straight clowns and jokers, and I am on my way to work, so 
yeah nothing changes you are you all are both still rich supposedly and it's business as usual but thank you for giving entertainment to us proles having us really believe that any of this really was of consequence they have one idiot who can't even use a fucking email server right or just emails in, in general have another idiot that people hate for numerous reasons but apparently the one that's head on is because of things that he said about women I've heard far I've heard men average men say far worse about women and <laughs> I won't even get into what I've heard the average woman just regular women say about men especially with my ass in the fucking room that honestly makes what Trump and just men say about women seem like nothing and quite appropriate you know <laughs> but hey Bill Burr said it best hey nobody corrects them because they want to fuck them at least supposedly want to fuck them hmm. so Vag wins out on that one comes out on top on that one so whatever <sighs> thank you for this circus show this carnival night zone let's just get this shit over with thing is even though I wasn't born in this country and I, and I am a citizen right actually I could have started my campaign just 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 I don't know went on YouTube yesterday and just said hey I'm hey I'm I'm, I'm running for president or some shit and I'll probably still get all the votes. People probably just pencil my name in. And just, even though the registration for candidacy is like long since over and all that shit. I could just say, hey, vote for me for president. And I would have beat both of you. And nobody knows who the fuck I am. See the views on this video? Probably not even 100. <laughs> oh, Christ. Anyway. By the time this video gets uploaded, you all will know who the winner of the 2016 Dumbass Games is. So, yeah. And then... Life keeps on going. Sun comes out. Winner still comes. You are more than likely still broke. Muslims are still going to have to watch the hell out. Or Middle Eastern people, Hispanics are still gonna get treated the way they are. Black people are still probably gonna get shot. Mm. Uh, us proles and our foolishness. Us fools and our foolishness. Anyway, later. Hmm. So now the day after. We now know the winner of the 2016 Dumbass Games. All that is left to say now, apart from, I don't know, Seek Hail, Heil, Seek Heil. All hail, Uber Groupers fewer. Actually, I guess it's just fewer right now, Trump. <laughs> Do note. This man won appealing to only one, only one type of white American. Only one. I'll leave you to guess which one that is. <laughs> All right, let the real dumbass games begin. Oh, and uh, Black America. Oh, uh, well, just black people. Shit, an American or not. Uh, Hail Mary. It's go time. To just put up the two videos that you saw um, before this one. But I figured uh, now almost, what, a, well, a little less than a day. Uh, removed from figuring out who the winner of this uh, circus show is, I two things. I'm gonna I'm gonna mesh two things, uh, melt two things into one. 
won. Okay, so the reason why Trump won, well, I won't say the reason why he won, but the reason why it was such a shock, and actually there's an article that I'm going to link to uh, about this. Uh, again, you could have easily picked this, picked up on this with that book, the recommendation that I had, the book review, um, Coming Apart, State of White America, 1960 2000 to 2010, from Charles Murray. But there's an article as well that I'm going to have linked. Nobody saw it coming, or well, most if not all didn't see it coming, the liberal left didn't see it coming, um, because they're in their own bubble. The liberal left, anywhere where they're like major cities, think the New Yorks, think the DCs, think, um, well, I don't know, well, I would have thought Miami or Orlando, but okay, uh, obviously the California, LA, um, that stuff, right? The major cities, major metropolitan cities and those areas, right? Here's a slight problem, though. That's not all of America. In fact, that's not America. Those, those cities are not, does not show what America is. It does to the rest of the world, and that's why they go thinking that America has more money than it does. Uh, and and more everything than it does, but that's not America at all. Trump won for whatever other reason you want to say. Oh, they hated him, but they hated Hillary more. Whatever. Trump got the rural white Americans' vote, and the moment that I realized that, it immediately I immediately remember the part in the book closer towards the end, where. Um, again, this is coming apart, uh, where it was like, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was talking about like uh, racial tension or something, ver uh, racial versus class tension and stuff, where basically you have these rural whites and these, let's say, working class versus well, what the article that I'm going to link to says, educated versus working class, right? The educated people in their bubbles, and their leftist, liberal, also educated, high IQ uh, bubbles, and then you have the working class people, right? Okay, mm -hmm. college degrees, no college degrees, okay? These working class people are told, essentially by the elite whites and then and the educated whites, the leftist liberal educated whites, as well as other minorities that you know what? You have all this privilege and shit that because you're white. And I'm not gonna say that they don't. In certain areas it's been shown that they do. In certain other areas they don't, even though they and or others might think they do. But you have one side telling them, hey, because you're white, you have all of this, and they actually believe it themselves as well. There's no shortage of these rural-type whites, these, let's just say, not city. It doesn't have to be on the boonies and the sticks, yeehaw, moonshine, and all that shit, but let's just say not-so-city-based whites that themselves believe that they are somehow special above anybody else. Well, no, no. Not anybody else, but they are somehow special above, like let's say, minorities that might be in a better situation than them. No shortage of them, right? So you have the liberal, educated left telling them that you have some of them, some of them, just some, believing that. But then you look at the actual white elites that really couldn't give less of a fuck about them, as far as they're concerned. Those white people are white in skin only, but they're just as much, if not more, niggers than actual black people, right? Which supposedly is the lowest, uh, black people are supposedly the lowest, or actually are the lowest, on the socioeconomic um, scales, right? With Hispanics just inching them out a little bit, more or less, supposedly, right? So here it is, you have a bunch of white people that supposedly have all this privilege that believe themselves, hey, you know what? <laughs> I'm white, so even though my life sucks, at least I'm white, so yay, right? But then it's like, okay, where the hell is all this privilege that I'm supposedly getting? Where the hell is all this opportunity for me? 
considering I'm white, but these elitists pretty much forgot about me, right? And these are the people that Donald Trump went after, right? These people that they're white, so they're not really going to be identifying with the minorities, but they're not white enough, right? Uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, they might as well be some black people, right? And they're like, wait, what the fuck is this? Like, 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 what the hell? You know, what about us? You know, I mean, the elites get in their bubble where they get richer and they get higher standards of living with the top of the top of the elites getting richer, rich get richer and all that. What about us? That's who he went after. And that's who the liberal left and all the polls and stuff did not see coming. That's why Trump won. The, that mainly. And then, of course, the fact that just like, okay, well, truth be told, with this dude, eh, he sucks, but he really didn't do anything. You know, I mean, the what are the two biggest problems with him, right? His, his quote-unquote, evasion of taxes, which he himself rightly admitted right there in the debate, hey, these are the laws. Like, I, I, I looked at the laws, and I went, I didn't break the laws, I just carefully matrix-like maneuvered around the laws. But I didn't actually break any, so I didn't do anything wrong, you know. And of course, you know, everybody had to admit, or most, if not all, had to admit, hey, if I had as much money as him, supposedly, uh, he has, uh, I'd have done the same thing. Me, myself included. Right? And then what's the only other thing that they have on him? Oh my god, he's grabbing bitches by pussies and shit. Even though, as Dave Chappelle pointed out, he said right there, when you're a star or you're a celebrity or whatever the hell, they let you do it. You can grab them by the pussy. He just said right there, they let you do it. You letting somebody do something right there implies consent. I mean, you don't have to literally say, I consent to you grabbing this pussy, right? So, truth be told, he actually did not do anything wrong. Now, compare that to all the shit Hillary did, and Hillary and her camp, her ilk, her, her, her rank and file did, you know? You know, everybody hates him, but mm, hates her more, you know? <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm, I, I, I still maintain that if it was Trump versus any other Democrat, he would have lost. If it was Hillary versus any other Republican, she would have lost, you know? But there's that. So, the next order of business, and, that's, and this is the second part of this, that's this melting um, section of this video. The stuff that Trump is 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 proposing, had any Democrat proposed this, and and I didn't vote. I don't. I'm not voting. I'm not settling for either of these two clowns. The argument from the leftist liberal people in my workplace, oh, is oh, well, you got you have to vote for the lesser of two evils. Number one, no, I don't have to vote, and number two, I'm not settling. This is not acceptable to me. Therefore, I am not going to sit here and work with it as though it is acceptable. If more people just didn't vote, not even for the independent, just didn't vote, it'd be like, yo, fix this, make this more acceptable. I think I talked about this in my other video, why you shouldn't vote. Um, so I didn't vote at all, right? Oh, side note, for anybody who's going to say, oh, well, you didn't vote, so you, have, so you forfeit your right to complain. Okay, I don't know who the fuck you think you are. I can complain or talk or give my comments or my input as much as I want. Why? Because I fucking pay taxes. I'm not sure why you decide that I can't, you are deciding. I, I see no law of nature or God that says that I can't do this. I, there's no law of man that says I can't do that. But you're coming up with this saying that I forfeit my, that I don't have any right to complain. I lose my right to complain if I didn't vote. No, I don't. I decide for myself when I give up that right. And I'm saying I give up that right to complain because I did. I give up that right when I do not have to pay, when I legally do not have to pay any form or fashion of taxes, okay? If I don't have ever, ever have to pay any kind of taxes in any form or fashion, federal, state, income, whatever, then I give up my right to bitch, okay? You don't decide that for me. So, no, I'm not going to vote because I'm not settling. I'm not accepting what is handed to me, especially when it's not quality. 
and I will voice my complaint about it. Simple as. Moving, um, sorry to go off on that, but I know somebody's going to come with that because everyone in my workplace came with that foolishness as well. At the gym, too. Right, so... As far as uh, what he was proposing to do, and I noticed that few, if any, Republicans actually questioned him or questioned each other about this, yet I know they would do it if liberals proposed this. All this shit that he said he was going to do, building infrastructure and this and that, this and that, where the fuck you... As Neil Cavuto put to that white girl that was com um, that was foaming off at the mouth about why we deserve free um, free education, free college education. I'm going to say the same thing to Trump and all the Trump supporters. Who pays? All the shit he's... I mean, I mean, for, first of all, the unrealistic shit and just flat-out impossible shit just from every kind of literal metric. Building the wall, this gigantic round -em up task force, and all that shit. It's physically, literally impossible to do. Okay. As far as the wall, forget even building it, the maintenance cost of that shit, right? But even other stuff, like infrastructure, something that has to be done, okay, fine. Who pays? Like, like, like where, where are you going to get this money from? Because had any Democrat proposed all this stuff, the conservative right-wing argument, maybe libertarian or whatever, all that right-wing camp area sphere would have been, okay, who pays for this? Uh, where are you going to get the money from? Uh, you're not going to raise my taxes for anything. And I'm just, and, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, the same question, argument applies here too. Who the hell is going to pay for all this shit that Trump wants to do? The only thing I could possibly think of is that he withdraws America from the rest of the world, minus with trade, uh, remove, like, close down every single military base, uh, no more aid to anybody. This includes Israel. Cuts, like, 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 just completely cuts out every kind of fucking entitlement spending from welfare right down to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, all that shit. Then, okay, fine. Then he might have some money to do that, but then there is still the fucking debt, you know? Like, there's still the debt. <laughs> and it's probably... This goes to Trump directly, much less his supporters. It's probably not in anyone's best interest, much less the U.S., for him to go and default, or well, not even default, well, yeah, default, but declare bankruptcy or default on the, the entire debt of the fucking U.S., as I believe he claimed he was going to do either in an interview or one of the debates, right? So who's going to pay for all this shit? All the stuff that he... I mean, nothing in life is free. Isn't that right, right-wing conservatives, right? you got to work hard and all that shit. Nothing in life is free. No free rides. Where is your boy Trump going to get all the money to do all the shit that he promised you all he was going to do? And he has to do it. He has to do it. Because anyhow, Trump does not deliver on most, if not all, of the shit that he... But, well, actually, you know, hell, let's just even say, no, let me not say one. Most, if not all, let's say most, of the shit that he promised, you best believe the leftist liberals are going to rip you and him apart. You all are going to get the shit fucking brutally gang raped out either way he went and fucking brutally raped Hillary in those votes. Okay? And, I mean, let's be honest here. Like, who the hell predicted, I mean, who the hell thought that badly of a beating he gave her? Right? In the polls. In the votes. Who, who... I didn't see that. I don't think anybody else pictured that either, including him himself and his, 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 his followers and supporters. A little bit closer with him winning, okay, fine, but not that fucking... She fight as hard as she could and he just did whatever the fuck you wanted to her kind of rape, you know? <laughs> nah, so... Anyhow, he doesn't deliver on this shit, on all the shit that he promised. The liberals are just going to be like, you dumb motherfuckers. That is why you all are in the fucking sticks. That is why you all suck. That's why we are the educated, 
super elite uber master race and you all are just some dumb backwards back hick back water fucking yeehaw moonshine with, with your fucking trucks beer and football and all that shit that's why you all are where you are and we are are in the grand palace you got what you wanted you got re Republican majority. You got everything you wanted here, and you still fucked up. You dumb motherfuckers. That's what the liberals are going to go with. So for all you people talking about eight years of Trump, mm, so he has to deliver on all his shit. You know, I mean, had it been Hillary, it's like, oh, well, politics is usual. She just says whatever and then doesn't do it. But with him... A, a businessman, not a politician, no law school, no Harvard, Yale, Wharton, all that, can't claim him. Businessman, he has to deliver on all his shit, okay? Or else you, you, you Republicans, alt-right, libertarian, whatever the fuck you all on that side, on the right side of zero, of neutral, you all are fucked, <laughs> okay? Hillary, if she's smart, she won't run ever again. And anybody that they that the Democrats come up with will be better. So God forbid it's Michelle Obama. I mean, Jesus, <laughs> right? Anybody the Democrats come up with will be will be better than Hillary. So you can't get that shut out victory again, unless of course Trump basically does what Hitler did after World War One and before World War Two, where he turned Germany from like a third world country to like the most powerful country on the planet. If Trump managed to do that, then fuck. But anyway, and I won't even get into the whole racial arguments and all the stuff, the, the racial tension and all that stuff that this presidency, this Trump presidency is gonna uh, fuck, I, I, I won't even get into that part, because that's a whole other video, and this thing's already 17 minutes. I got a link to videos to this, so it's going to be like 20-something minutes. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's why Trump won, because he got to the white people that the mainstream conservatives, who is all about big business, they don't give a fuck about, okay? Uh, and the liberals, well, they just don't give a fuck about them at all, because it's like, um, fuck them, <laughs> right? You know? So you got one that don't care about them because they're not leftist liberal, and they don't have the secular, atheist, leftist mindset, you know, anti-gun, anti-religion, anti-whatever, anti-capitalism mindset. And then, of course, the ones that are pro-gun, religion, cap, supposedly, capitalism and all that, they're like, eh. What was that one wrestler, Chris Nowinski from WWE from way back? Who, uh, the only wrestler that went to Harvard in the WWF, WWE. He's like, what the hell was that tune that he said? Like, Harvard had some sort of, you know, he said Harvard had some sort of, um, some sort of, like little tune or song or whatever chant that they had. Well, how did it go? Like two, four, six, eight bucks. We'll own the companies. You'll drive the trucks. Some shit like that. Yeah, that's that's mainstream Republicans. We'll own the companies. You drive the trucks. Okay, because you all are just you, you all happen to be white. You all some niggas just like all the rest of them, especially those actual niggas over there. So yeah, and there you go. That's it.